Hi everyone! So before we, I will go to the video, just a few words uh, where I find the inspiration for it and how I come up with the ideas for the shoot. Idea for this particular shoot came once when uh, I was watching uh, a wardrobe and styling for some of the Beyonce's concert and her stylist was showing a uh, short that uh, they created for her uh, to perform song Flawless and that design of the short was actually the spin-off of the hair short that she wore in the video and when I saw it I absolutely loved it and I decided that I wanted to create it and I did and I have a tutorial here on my channel how to create that short and after I created of course I wanted to do the shoot so I decided to style the shoot uh, the way that Beyonce's video was styled so kind of edgy rebellious type and mood now my intention was wasn't to replicate the style it was more an inspiration so uh, when I was looking for location I was looking for an outside location I was looking for something maybe like abundant or rustic and uh, I was so lucky to actually stumble upon an old brewery that had that beautiful set that I had in mind the next what comes to the model uh, I whenever I research for the model uh, I definitely have certain look in my mind that I want to have and I was very very lucky to find Charlotte because she was exactly what I wanted it and yes uh, we have two looks actually because I usually try to squeeze more than one look in one shoot second look I decided to go with something that would kind of fit the original mood kind of rebellious edgy uh, rock chick type of thing I end up with doing a look that uh, quite resembles again Beyonce's look that she wore I believe in who run the world video even though it wasn't the original inspiration it just maybe subconsciously end up being like that uh, so yeah that's kind of the backstory for this shoot and now let's go to the shoot itself for this shoot I did the makeup myself Again, I've decided to go with the makeup look that Beyonce has been wearing in her video, but a bit softer. For the eyeshadow, it was important to choose colors that would not clash with the color of the shirt. So I went with neutral, but very warm colors to complement Charlotte's blue eyes. For the lips, I've chose deep dark wine color that goes with all the rebellious vibe that I was going for. It straightened the hair look and made it appear edgier, exactly what I needed. To be honest, it turned out even better than I've expected. I'm very happy with the final result. Now we are finished getting ready and it's time to head down to the location. Hi everyone! So today I have a, a plant, such a cool photo shoot, it's kind of edgy uh, type photo shoot with the beautiful Charlotte. Isn't she gorgeous? Today and we at the uh, old brewery place, so for that kind of edgy background and let's see what I'll come up with. Mm -hmm. Awesome! <laughs> For the first location, I've chose this old rusted tank. I thought it will go great with the mood of the shoot. I'm shooting a natural light as always. It's almost a golden hour, but light is still quite harsh. I think reflector would be a good idea, but I simply didn't have anyone to hold it, so I made it work without. I always start with some simple poses, giving a model and myself chance to kind of warm up and get into a creative mode. For this shoot, I'll be using a lot of eye level and low angles. The reason why I chose to do a lot of shots underneath is to give the same feel when we see someone on stage, which is importance, significance and attention grabbing, to complement the main mood of the shoot. Now I'm taking two shots of the same pose, just different angles, and you can see what a big difference just changing the angle can make.
here I ask Charlotte to put one of her legs on the ledge but it's a bit too high for my liking to take a full body shot so I'm choosing to go with the close-ups And now I'm changing my location a bit, we moved on the other side of the tank for a different type of lighting. And I'm continuing to do my yoga poses for the best angles. The light here is different since it's in shadow, not as harsh, although a bit dark. I'm lucky with model, Charlotte does a great job giving me a variety of different poses, which are perfect fit for the mood of the shoot. We've done with the first location and now moving to the second one. Along the way we got a new friend, which turned out to be sweetest, friendliest puppy ever. Just look at him. Can you say it again because I didn't make video? Can you record me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> say it again. Okay. So here we at our second location, which is super awesome. We have this cool rustic pipes, and yeah, really excited about that. And Charlotte does such an incredible job. She does fantastic posing, so I cannot wish for anybody better. This spot is the reason why I've chose to do a shoot at this brewery at the first place. I thought it's perfect match for the image and idea that I was aiming for. The reason why I didn't start here is because I intend not to shoot in my star location at the beginning ever because I feel that I need to warm up first, bond with the model, so the good creative ideas will start to flow in. This is second look which I really like and we are moving to the third location. I've chosen this cream color rusty container because I thought first it goes great with the main mood of the shoot. Second, I absolutely loved all the pipe bulges. I thought they might look cool in the shot, almost if she's on the ship or something. And third, I love the overall contrast between light container color, Charlotte's hair and skin and blackness of her outfit.
For the last shot in this location, I had Charlotte turn away from the light to get that backlit effect. Next location is these two pieces of pipe filled with cement. I thought it can be a great setup to do some sitting poses. Also, I love the light color of the metal wall. A great contrasting background to complement model's outfit and makeup. The great thing about this location is that the sun is on the other side, so even though it's a bit dark, overall light is even and I don't have to watch out for the hard shadows. And now I'm taking a final shot. Okay guys, so we finished our photo shoot. I hope that uh, you enjoy watching it. I definitely enjoy working with Charlotte. She's incredible. I get so many <laughs> divine shots that you already see in this video and but we yet to see while of editing but I'm super excited because I just could not stop taking pictures of Charlotte. She's incredible. Look at this incredible hair. This look at this face. Oh my god, I'm a fan. Uh, I have a girl crush, definitely. So, <laughs> yes, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Did you enjoy the... I did! It was fun! I'm glad, I'm glad. A lot easier when it started to cool down. <laughs> yes, yes, well, it's Houston. Even in October, it's still pretty, yeah. pretty hot. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be, it will be very much appreciated. Thumbs up if you like it. Just, you have to put 